Okay, this is going to be lesson 4.10 uh, <clears throat> for the college algebra class. We're going to be solving logarithmic equations using properties of logarithms, and we're going to do this in uh, two or three videos, but this is going to be part one. So this is going to be, we're going to look at the different properties we talked about yesterday, and we're going to do some examples of equations, solving equations using those properties. Uh, the first one we're going to do is a log base B of one property, where we have, sorry, log base B of one equals zero, if you remember that property. So we might have something of the nature of, let's say, an example would be log base seven of 3x minus 4 equals 0, then we know we could convert this to exponential form like we've been doing. We do the base of the logarithm to the power on the outside equals what's inside. 7 to the 0 equals 3x minus 4. That's where we get the 1 from that was coming from in here. 7 to the 0 is 1, so 3x minus 4. And we add 4 to both sides. And divide both sides by three, and we see that x equals five thirds. Remember, any time that we are solving logarithmic equations, we need to take the solution that we get. We need to plug it back in and make sure that we're going to get a positive number. So, if we plugged in here, test our solution, we would get five, or sorry, three times five thirds. Oops, already did the x uh, minus four. Three times five thirds is five. It's minus four, that's positive one. As long as we end up with a positive number here, this is, this is greater than zero, then this is a valid solution. If we had ended up with zero or negative number in here, then we would have been what we call an extraneous solution. We would have had to throw it out. So this is a valid solution to this equation. Um, we might get something like ln of x squared plus 2x equals zero. If we did that, again, e to the zero equals x squared plus 2x. That means one equals x squared plus 2x. So that is a quadratic equation. We're going to subtract one from both sides and get zero equals x squared plus 2x minus one. We can't find two numbers that multiply, make negative one, and add to make two, so we're going to use the quadratic equation, the quadratic formula to solve this. Negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Remember the a, b, and c are the coefficients here. Once we have the equation set equals zero, so b is two, so this becomes negative two plus or minus square root of b squared is going to be four. When minus 4ac, is going to be uh, a is going to be one, so minus four times one times negative one is c, and this is all over two times one. I'm going to come over here now since I'm running into my picture, but uh, this is going to give me negative two plus or minus. If we have negative four times one times negative one, that makes positive four, so this is going to be plus or minus the square root of eight all over two. We can split this into two fractions, and this is going to be two negative two over two plus or minus. The square root of eight is the same thing. It's right up here. The square root of eight is the same thing as square root of four times two, which is the same thing as the square root of four times the square root of two. The square root of four is two, so this is just two square roots of two. So this becomes plus or minus two square roots of two over two which we know is negative one, negative two over two is negative one, plus or minus, and then this is gonna be the square root of two. Now remember, <clears throat> we need to make sure that if we plug these numbers in, we're going to get a, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna get a positive number inside the log. So if we plugged in negative one plus the square root of two over two, or sorry, the square root of two, that's gonna be a positive number. If we plug that in up here, we're gonna get x squared, that's going to be a square positive, we get a positive, so we're going to have a positive number plus a positive number. Negative square root of 1 plus the square root of 2 is a valid answer. If we plug in negative 1 minus the square root of 2, that's going to be negative 1, and negative square root of 2 is about negative 1.4. So this is going to be about negative 2.4. 
If we square that, if we square that, it's going to give us the same thing as 2.4 times 2.4. And then when we plug in the negative 2.4 here, we're going to get negative 2.4 times 2. This is also going to end up giving us a positive number. So both of these are going to be valid solutions. Our solutions to this are x equals negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 2. And that's how we'll solve equations when we have the logarithm set equal to zero. Let's look at the next property where we have log base b of b to the x. Recall that this property said that if we have log base b of b to the x, the log base b and the b as the base of an exponent cancels and we just lay with x. So we might have an equation that says log base 3 of 3 to the 7x minus 4 equals 2. Well, instead of converting that to exponential form, we can just simply say that these cancel like they did over here and leave us with 7x minus 4 equals 2. So we add 4 to both sides, get 7x equals 6, x equals 6 over 7. If we go back and plug that in, test it to make sure 3 raised to any power is positive, so this is going to be greater than 0. So we're in good shape. So seven x uh, 3 to the 7x minus 4 is greater than 0. And we'll plug in 6 over 7. So we're in good shape there. This is a valid solution. Mm, we might also end up with an x uh, in a quadratic like we did before. Let's say we had ln of e to the x squared minus do plus 6 equals 3. Now let's do minus 6 like we were going to do before. Now remember the ln is the log base e, so this cancels just like the log base 3 canceled the 3 as the base of an exponent. And we get x squared minus 6x equal uh, minus 6, not minus 6x. If we add 6 to both sides, we get x squared equals 9, so that x equals plus or minus 3. If we look and go back, we plug in, we would get, we're looking to see if e raised to any power is positive. So e raised to the plus or minus 3 squared is going to be positive. These are valid solutions. Let's do another one. This time let's do log 10 to the... 3x minus 1 equals 2. Again, understood base of 10. So log cancels the base 10 of the exponent. We have a 3x minus 1 equals 2. So when we add 1 to both sides, we get 3x equals 3 and x equals 1. Go back, 10 to any power is going to be a positive number. So x equals 1 is a valid solution. The last part of this video, we're going to do the b to the log base b of f of x. So recall that we had b raised to the log base b of x is equal to x. That's the property we did yesterday. So in effect, what happens is the b is the base of the exponent, cancels the log base b in the exponent, just leaves us with what was ever inside the log. So we may end up with a uh, an equation that says 3 raised to the log base 3 of 2x plus 4 equals 2. We cancel that, and we can say this is going to be 2x plus 4 equals 2. We would subtract 4 from both sides, get 2x equals negative 2, divide by 2, get x equals negative 1. We need to go back and test this, and we have 2 times negative 1 plus 4 equals 2. That's greater than 0, so this is a valid solution. x equals negative 1 is a valid solution. If we had pi raised to the log base pi of x squared plus 5x my equals, say that equals still I guess equals 14. Again, pi raised to the log base pi is going to cancel that, leave us what was inside the log. We get x squared 
plus 5x equals 14. This is a quadratic equation, so we're going to subtract 14 from both sides, get it equal to 0. So we see x squared plus 5x minus 14 equals 0. We can factor this to x plus 7 times x minus 2. And therefore, we set each factor equal to 0 and solve. We'll get x equals negative 7 and x equals 2. We go back and plug in to make sure that we're going to get uh, that we'll get positive numbers inside the log. So we need to make sure that x squared plus 5x is going to be po uh, positive. So negative 7 squared plus 5 times negative 7 is going to be 49 minus 4, 35. That's positive 14. This is a valid solution. We plug in 2, we get 4 plus 5 times 2. That's equal to 14. So that's a valid solution. So these are the solutions to our equation. If we had plugged in and either one of these had given us a negative number inside the log, then we would have had to throw it out, call it an extraneous solution. That's part one for from section 4.10 on your college algebra.